what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's Miss Mulatto, and I'm checking in with my family. Sweet Candor TV. Let's get it. I ain't never held back. Matter of fact, I don't even look back. Cause I think I'm the baddest to all of these rappers. I'm winning. Ain't no more talking. Uh, they watching me, so I gotta lay low. Ain't no mistake, I'm this great. They know. Ain't nothing changed but my dang payroll. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's my Asia Simone with Sweet Candor TV, where we highlight, enlighten, and change lives. And I'm sitting here with the Southside Princess. Miss Mulatto, how are you today? Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're surprisingly sitting in her clothing store, and I didn't know I was going to be here today. But let me just start by saying that I'm personally inspired because for her to be only how old? 18. Just turned 18. Just turned 18 with her own clothing store. And I'm looking at a lot of things in here like, man, you know, I need to be shopping today. I really, really, really. So whenever y'all get a chance, come on down to Pit Stop Clothing. Yeah. Um, it's her store and like, check it out. It's a lot of nice things for the ladies. So you won season one of the rap game. Of course, that was produced by Jermaine Dupri and you had a lot of heavy hitters on the show, like uh, popping their heads in and things like that. Um, how is life after that? Like talk about that a little bit. Um, it's, it's, uh, it has its pros and its cons. Um, it's cool for the most part. Um, it's definitely a blessing as far as the music aspect goes. Everything just went zero to 100 real quick, like level two to 10. Um, I was doing shows, of course, in Georgia, in my city. Now I just booked my first show out of the country um, in St. Martin. I did that recently. Um, everything, my fan base is bigger. Everything, as far as music goes, is, is, is a good, it's a good thing, yeah. So you mainly cater to kids or children, or is it like a teenage group? Or what, what's your audience, your target audience? I would say I have something for everybody. Like, um, your little sister is probably my biggest fan. Your little brother is probably in love with me. Uh, <laughs> you probably love me. Your mama is like, yeah, girl, t take that off. Turn that Miss Mulatto on. And your granny be like, baby, turn that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're a positive media outlet, and we highly believe in women uplifting each other, supporting each other. But lately in the media, there's been a lot of different things going on, and uh, beefs to be particular, uh, the Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma's beef. What's your take on that? Um, you can go back on my tweets, and I was like, um, as soon as I saw Nicki had dropped the, the song with Gucci, and I, I knew, I knew Remy was gonna come back at that. I tweeted, I was like, I love Nicki and Remy. Like, just being younger than them, um, and a newbie and a rookie in the industry, I look up to both of them. So, I wouldn't say I take a stance. However, I do feel like people are asleep on Nicki. If someone left it up to Miss Mulatto to squash the beef, what would be the way you'd do it? Um, I feel like, I mean, it's enough. It's definitely enough. I know everybody says this, but it's definitely enough place for all females to win. Like, it's how many dude rappers and it's only Nicki Minaj at the top right now. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like they could have easily dropped, jumped on the same song and dropped a hit together. Word on the street is that you have some problems of your own. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I have problems. I think somebody else have problems. So she has problems. Let's, can we say your name? Yeah. Okay, so Young Lyric, she was uh, she was another cast member on the show, The Rap Game. You won over her. So y'all were cool before... <laughs> <laughs> so y'all were cool before then. And, like, where did all the beef start? Tell us how it started. Um, Actually, in the house, we was real, real close. Um, I would say me and Poopy was the closest, but of the girls, we was the closest because we was closest in age. Um, but at the reunion everybody switched up because that's when i won everybody except nico except nico so everybody switched up um and she was you know somebody else who i never seen before and somebody else who she knows she ain't never been before so that that kind of threw me for the loop whatever her parents was on some stuff i don't know they was extra piped up too so then that's where the beat really started and then ever since then she just been dropping subliminal like track 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 mixtape 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 like and i just been ignoring it because i mean i know you're just trying to I'm, i mean i'm popping so right. of course you want to say my name so what was the actual moment where you said all right she's been dropping this yeah. this and this and this and that like let me go ahead and jump into the studio and let me give her some words too like what, what was the actual moment for you she had um this time it wasn't a subliminal like it was like she was being real direct with it so i was like okay i'm gonna give her what she asking for then the solution that you have for remy and nikki was to jump on the same track do you think if y'all jumped on the same track that it would kill it like maybe y'all could just work together and collab i mean it would it would it would kill the industry by far like we would 
fans would go crazy. Well, what we're going to do, we're just going to hope and pray that y'all squash it some type of way. But, you know, just continue to, you know, move on with your career. And, you know, you stay in Atlanta. She stays in Houston. And y'all both yeah, like. With the shows in Houston. Yeah, everybody know that. I already <laughs> been there, done that. <laughs> so this is something that a lot of people want to know. This is a question from the fans. And I've been getting it over and over and over. But being that now you're legal and you're all grown up, they want to know, is Miss Mulatto dating? Does she have a love life right now? <laughs> Everybody always be asking me that. Uh, I got a couple little MCMs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know. A couple. So not a starting five, but just no, a couple. No, like a couple, you know, like like Benjamin Franklin, Andrew Jackson, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even George Washington, you know what I'm saying? All them guys. Tell everybody what you have coming out right now. I know you're working on a few projects. You have what, mixtape getting ready to drop. Talk about that. Yeah, I got a mixtape getting ready to drop. Lotto let them know. That'll be my first project since winning the rap game. So I'm so excited to put that out. Um, I actually just got the cover back today. So you can look forward to me posting that real, real soon. No date yet, um, but you can definitely look forward to that. And tons of features. Everybody popping right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and tell everybody where we can find you on social media. Yeah, y'all follow me on Instagram at I am Miss Mulatto, one L, two T's. Twitter, Miss Mulatto, two, four, seven. And y'all can find me as well. I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. My Asia Simone. That's My Asia with the I and Simone with the Y. And thank you so much for sitting down with us today. You know, letting you know, letting a few things out of the bag and and you know talking to the fans today because they're the ones who you know we love and those are the ones like you said they they got us to both where we are. So, mm -hmm. 100%. all right, and y'all stay tuned for more Sweet Kendor TV. I'm saying, help, I don't need none of that I ain't never held back Matter of fact, I don't even look backwards I think I'm the baddest to all of these rappers I'm winning Ain't no more talking, uh They watching me, so I gotta lay